Good morning and thank you for watching Coffee with Cren. Today we're going to be talking about the listing input field descriptions and where you can go in Paragon to see what every field is asking for when you're inputting a listing. So let's get started here. I'm on the homepage of Paragon. I'm just going to go up here to my listings icon, act like I'm going to put in a new listing. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do a residential listing. Click on residential. Now this is what I'm talking about. If you guys see a field in here that you don't know exactly what it's asking for, um, for instance, this variable rate, I had a question like this um, come up not too long ago, this variable rate, um, there, there's no little question mark next to it, and usually we do have those question marks just like all of these. Um, that's one way you can do it, is hover over these question marks and you can pop up this little pop-up that gives you information on what we're asking for in that field. If this does not have one, you can always check our listing field description worksheet that is located in MLS Documents. Up in the top right hand corner, you can go over to MLS Documents, right there. Now underneath the MLS folder, listing input field descriptions. Perfect. Click on that. Down at the very bottom, there's residential. But you guys, if you um, we have one of these for each class, so you guys just select the class that you want, and say I'm doing a residential, um, and I need to know what a field is asking. Come over here, and here we go. I can scroll down, and I can look for that variable rate, which is going to be um, it's going to go in order of um, how you guys input the list. So right here, variable rates, yes or no. And there's the description. So you guys are able to look at this, download it, print it, keep it with you guys. That's how you can get more information on what we're asking for on some of those fields if the question mark help tool box here is not next to that field. Thanks for watching Coffee with Cren. We'll see you next week.